Hey folks, BQ here with the King of the Mountain Podcast. I know I already uh, uploaded a video today with the GFW Spotlight, but just got the, um, thanks to a couple people on Twitter, uh, Rusty and uh, Michael Peacock, both of you had uh, let me know about the uh, video with Tyrus today where he uploaded a video to his Instagram and it's on his Twitter as well that he's pulling a Kaepernick. Um, Kaepernick's not my favorite person in the world, but that's uh, besides the point. But he's pulling a Kaepernick. He's saying he's not going to show up to the tapings. Uh, I think he called it a TNA tapings. And uh, he said he would not uh, be there because he, um, of the way he's been booked over the last four or five tapings, and that he deserves better, his fans deserve better. So let's talk about this real quick. I want to know what you guys think. Um, he, he's not, you know, the the... He's not a main eventer by any means, okay? But let's let's look at the facts here, because he's not wrong. He should have been in the Slammiversary match instead of Chris Adonis number one. And I've said that before. With his connections with, with Fox, and I mean, just Fox alone, they could have made that match even uh, twice what it was with the old D'Angelo Williams thing. Twice! And it was already a really big deal. So you for whatever reason use Chris Adonis who doesn't draw a dime and um, you know Ty Tyrus should have been in that role Tyrus has to be done with this hired gun shit you know in this la last episode of Impact when he had the face to face with Congo Kong I was thinking to myself oh damn they're gonna do a modern day Twin Towers tag team they're gonna have a little face off and then end up teaming up and I was thinking to myself that's actually kind of cool that's actually kind of badass um, but they kind of went back to he just doing the bodyguard thing. He there's no way he's cool with this and being like Bruce Pritchard's bodyguard of all people. So he's not wrong. Um, yeah, it, you know, should he be uh, main eventing the show and wrestling for the title? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure he he feels that way. You know, but me as a fan, I don't really feel that way. But he definitely does deserve a lot better than what's been happening. Now, let's hope that he gets that uh, he gets, um, you know, he said he was playing phone tag with a company. Let's hope they come to some kind of resolution here because we don't wait. We don't need more negative press, especially, you know, something that should be. This is small. This is tiny. This shouldn't. There's no reason this should get into anything big. And it sounds like he tried to do his due diligence and contact the company, said they were playing phone tag. So, uh, don't know what's going on with this. Hopefully, they figure this out uh, because the dirt sheets are going to jump on anything. And we really don't want him to turn this whole thing with Tyrus, of all things, into a, a big deal. So, what are you guys thinking? Do you want to see more of Tyrus, less of Tyrus? Uh, do you agree that he sh should have been in the Slammiversary match? instead of Chris Adonis. So let me know in the comments, folks. Peace.